Navitec is mostly known for their portfolio of Italian supercars, which is lately being saturated with awesome British makes and a full range of Teslas. If you value high-quality German tuning, let's explore the entire selection of custom makes from this workshop that manages to refine even the most outstanding models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss your regular dose of car lineup previews. And hit that like button before we even begin. Let's start the engines. McLaren Senna by Navitec Since Senna is already a member of McLaren's Ultimate Series, it can hardly be called reserved, both performance and design-wise. However, as they say, there is no limit to perfection. So Navitec decided to refine this mid-engine beast even further. The company uses a plug-and-play Entronic control unit to introduce new engine maps and modify electronic boost pressure control. As a result, in its max spec, the 4 liter V8 nets 902 horses and 655 pound-feet, getting a 102 horsepower advantage over the stock model. This leads to much improved acceleration times. The Navitec Sema can do 0 to 16 pH in 2.7 seconds, while 0 to 124 happens in 6.5. Of course, the tuner does not stop there, giving the car a new interior, mismatched 20 and 21 inch wheels, and a raised GTR exhaust. Maserati Levante Estasso V2 The Italian SUV is not a frequent visitor of tuning houses, but luckily, Navitec did not shy away from tuning its trofeo modification into a mean-looking performance machine. Their latest Estasso V2 model gets the company's signature wide-body kit, which consists of 8 pieces, some of which can be ordered in carbon fiber. The all-new fender flares, side skirts and completely reworked bumpers increase the width of the vehicle by more than 4 inches. There is also a new hood scoop, 22-inch aluminum wheels and an optional naked carbon fiber rear spoiler. The Ferrari-built 3.8-liter twin turbo V8 gets extra muscles and now produces 624 horsepower and 605 pound-feet of torque delivered to all four wheels. By the way, Navitec also offers performance upgrades for the V6 and diesel Levante models. Spofec Rolls-Royce Phantom When it leaves the factory, the Phantom is already the epitome of British luxury. For this reason, the designers from Navitec's Rolls-Royce-specific branch Spofec were rather tactful upon applying their signature modifications. From the outside, the upgraded Phantom wears a more aggressive front bumper with larger air intakes, which were claimed to reduce the front axle lift at high speeds. To make it stand sleeker and lower, Spofac used the rocker panels with raised flaps. The custom-tailored 24-inch alloy wheels are standard, and the customers can choose between 72 different colors and either brushed or polished surface finish. Plus, the performance kit increases the power output of the stock V12 to 685 ponies and to 745 pound-feet of peak torque. Which Navitec model is your top pick from this amazing selection? Make sure to check out every single entry on this list before making a decision. Leave a like and let's proceed! Tesla Model 3 by Navitec the Navitec's portfolio of Teslas is being expanded alongside the lineup of the American manufacturer. After the successful enhancements of the Model S and X, the so-called People's EV Model 3 gets its fair share of customizations. Those include naked carbon aerodynamic components that reduce front axle lift at high speeds and optimize directional stability, tailor-made 21-inch high-tech forged wheels developed together with the American wheel manufacturer Vossen, and sporty suspension modifications. The right height could be lowered by up to 40 mm, reducing the drag and even cutting the power consumption during longer tours. The inside job on the Model 3 by Navitec involves exquisitely finished leather and Alcantara interior appointments in any color of the rainbow.
Navitech Lamborghini Huracan Evo. When comparing to other tuning packages offered by Navitech, this Huracan Evo kit can also be labeled as a soft upgrade, since it does not involve any fine-tuning of the engine. Instead, the company dresses the supercar in new bodywork with exposed carbon fiber panels that makes the Evo seven times more aero-efficient than the previous Navitech-modified Performante. The car gets new front spoiler details, side air intakes, and a racy-looking trunk lid, but it is the prominent rear wing that is responsible for changing its silhouette. Additional modifications to the stock model include an optimized exhaust with titanium intake valves and carbon fiber tips, updated suspension that lowers the ride by 1.37 inches, several wheel options, and exclusive interior styling. Navitech McLaren Spider and Spider and Largo. Capitalizing on the experience gained modifying the 720S Coupe, Navitech now also offers two body and three performance upgrades for the model Spider version. The modifications focus on improving the car's aerodynamics. So both the base package and the limited edition and Largo wide body kit boast one tunnel optimized design. The cars wear lightweight carbon fiber and ride on exclusive of Austin wheels with Pirelli tires. The Enlargo model is additionally distinguished by the all-new front fascia, wider fenders, and a rear wing attached to the stock retractable spoiler. It also gets two race-back exhaust options from stainless steel or lightweight and canal material. The car's 4-liter twin-turbo gets three states of tune, with the top one maxing out at 806 horses, 648 pound-feet, and 215 miles per hour. Lamborghini Urus by Navitech Though this is not the most powerful Urus coming out from the tuning shop, the Navitech version does manage to set the SUV apart in the crowd. Regardless whether you choose the Estaso white body kit version or the regular one, you are guaranteed designer bodywork, 23-inch tailor-made wheels, and a suspension kit that can lower the right height by an inch. To go with the visual and handling changes, the company also developed a performance upgrade. Thanks to the installed Antronic control modules, the V8 now cranks out from 747 to 782 horsepower depending on the modification, while its peak torque was increased to 761 pound-feet. Rolls-Royce Cullinan Overdose In our previous releases, we have already explored several modification packages offered for the Rolls-Royce SUV. But today, let's see how Navitech managed to up this already impressive model. First, the company added a new body kit that makes the stock Cullinan almost 5 inches wider. The SUV received a redesigned front bumper, beefier side skirts, and a new rear spoiler. The SPOFAC control module for the air suspension lowers the car by 1.57 inches, while the custom exhaust system comes with electronic sound management to extract more noise from the V12 unit. The latter gets a 115 ponies boost and now delivers 685 horsepower and 745 pound-feet of torque. These numbers mean that the 2.7-ton car can do a 0-60 to sprint in 4.9 seconds. Navitech Lamborghini Aventador SVJ You could say that modifying Lamborghini Aventadors is sort of a specialty for Navitech, since the company has been working on the supercar since 2011, creating at least 8 kits for the different versions of the model. The most recent one of them, of course, is the Aventador SVJ Coupe and the Roadster. Both get new carbon fiber body components that have been fine-tuned to the Bulls Active Aero, 
and in line with Novatech's habit, wind tunnel tested. The company decided not to mess with the potential of the mighty 6.5-liter V12, but added several new exhaust options, reducing the car's weight by a maximum of 42 pounds. As usual, new springs were added to the suspension setup to lower the right height and gravity center. Plus, an L4 wheels, co-developed with Fossen, were installed. Ferrari F8 Tributo by Novatec Ferrari barely launched the F8 Tributo to the market, but Novatec has already developed an upgrade for the model. The sports car received new suspension springs, which were calibrated specifically to fit its low profile, and there is a front axle lift system, which raises the F8's front end by 1.57 inches to account for parking ramps and small obstacles. Thanks to the new control unit and reprogrammed engine mapping, the reworked 3.9 liter V8 now peaks at 787 horses and 650 pound feet. According to the company, they are currently working on a body kit for the supercar, and we can safely assume that the upgrade for the F8 Spider will follow next. Would you agree that Navitec is the coolest tuner of Italian, British and Tesla models? Which one of the presented entries is your favorite? Answer these questions in the comments below. Now is a perfect time to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Proceed to exploring lineups of other automakers by following the links on the screen. See you later!